Well, happy Saturday morning, everyone. I'm Craig Loper and high school football state championships in the Commonwealth. One more game to win it all. These games are happening today. You see it here. Highland Springs versus Maury. This class five game has all the ingredients for a great matchup. So let's talk about it. Maury and Highland Springs have two, been two of the better programs in all of the state for quite a while now. Maury really going back to 2018. Highland Springs more traditionally. Earlier this week at practice, we spoke with Commodore's head coach, Doreen McCain, about the makeup of his team this season and his expectations for this afternoon. You got a mix of younger guys who haven't been on the stage before, um, so they're experiencing. You know, I think when you're in Little League and you play for the Mustangs or you play for whatever organization, you dream of, I want to play in a state championship. I want to be a part of a state championship. Um, so the excitement there from the younger guys, from the older guys who kind of been there, been around the block a little bit, um, it's another opportunity. Now they know that the job is to finish. Um, that's why we're back here. Um, so we got a good opponent Saturday, and um, we're excited about the matchup. On the other sideline will be Highland Springs team, a Highland Springs team that went on to win four straight state championships before Maury won the state title three years ago in 2019. These two teams have met in the playoffs twice since 2018. The Springers have won both of those games, but don't expect Coach McCain to look at this as any sort of David versus Goliath game. You know, we feel like that we put in the work and we're here consistently too. So, um, you know, this isn't no surprise or Cinderella story. We belong here, we work to get here, um, and we do it consistently. So um, there are a bunch that does it too. Highland Springs is a bunch that does it too. So there's mad respect there. Um, but, you know, we're not going to back down to anybody. A team is going to win and a team's going to lose on Saturday. And we're in that game to do one or the other, and we want to be on the winning side. Maury is 10-1. Their only loss was to New Bern first game of the year. Highland Springs 14-0. They got another great team. This game kicks off today at noon at SB Ballard Stadium. And we have a camera there. We'll have the highlights. In Class 3, Phoebus will try to make it back-to-back -back state titles after the Phantoms rolled Brentsville District 58-14 last weekend in Hampton. In that win, Phoebus quarterback Nolan James left the game with a leg injury. He did not return. This is the guy that filled in for him, number 8, Jaden Early. And he's a stud safety, but he can sling the rock too. Case in point, this 50-yard touchdown pass to future Pitt Panther Jordan Bass, number 5. He's been sensational to watch this season. Big, strong, physical, fast. Really a playmaker for them. Best believe they're going to rely on him in this game. Phoebus taking on Heritage for, from Lynchburg for the Class 3 uh, title game today at noon. Heritage comes in with two losses. This game is in Lynchburg at Liberty's University's Williams Stadium, so it is a little bit of a hometown advantage. You think the, that they're going to have the advantage there, but this Phantoms team, they appear to be a team of destiny looking for that perfect 15-0 undefeated season. We'll have Nathan Epstein there, and he'll have a recap package tonight in the Sports Wrap at 6 o'clock. 